Uh, it's a bit breezy. I'm near a uh, calendar in uh, Stirlingshire, and I've just found uh, another tagged wind chat. He's singing right up in the top of this tree. So he's not quite where I expected to be. He's a, he's a good uh, kilometer or so from where I tagged him last year, uh, and I actually uh, caught another bird in this particular area last year. Uh, but I can recognise the tagged birds by the colour rings that are on their legs. So all of the tagged birds have yellow colour ring over metal. This one very definitely has yellow. It took me a little while to kind of work that one out because he spends quite a bit of time sitting on all of the broom bushes around here, uh, which are yellow. Uh, probably we should have thought about that, I think, when we were putting the, choosing the colour rings. But uh, the untagged birds that we use as controls have a blue ring over uh, the metal ring. So, yeah, what I'm going to do now is uh, hang around a bit, see what he does, uh, learn a bit about his behaviour. Um, he's spending quite a lot of time just singing at the moment, kind of suggesting to me that perhaps uh, if he's paired up, uh, the female will still be on eggs. Um, so I might have to come back here, don't think I'll catch him today. But uh, I can give him a go with some baited perch traps uh, uh, and some spring traps. Uh, with mealworms. I'd say it's a bit chilly today with this wind so I don't think the mealworms will really kind of writhe around a lot and, uh, and catch their eye but we can try. I'm afraid mist net's probably out of the question because these guys will probably just walk straight through it. So uh, you know you, you've got to pick the traps for the, for the environment that you've got there but uh, yeah fingers crossed we get them. So it's a couple of days later after um, I found the wind chat here just outside Calendar uh, that was singing up in the top of the, this big ash tree by the side of the road and um, I was waiting for the, the winds to die down because uh, it's been a bit windy um, and uh, although it's a bit damp today I thought well because the, the wind levels are down I can get a mist net out because this, uh, this wind chat that I was trying to go for uh, seems to have like a, a, a pretty um, set route that he takes when I put the playback uh, on, which is really good. So I put a mist net out, put a perch trap out as well with the uh, speaker underneath, uh, playing some, some lovely wind chat music. And uh, he came and responded to it. He comes and sits in a wee gorse bush. Uh, but I also put out a spring trap baited with mealworms. And uh, despite all my work putting the mist nets up, it was the mealworms they went for. The geolocator uh, backpack has been safely retrieved, so um, that's uh, got all the data on it from when he went off to Africa. Um, he's a feisty wee devil, and uh, yeah, uh, really pleased to have got him. That's two wind chats that I've got back now. Um, we did tag quite a few more up in Glenfinglas, but uh, unfortunately we've not seen any colouring birds back there uh, just yet. So uh, this bird moved about 700 metres from his uh, previous territory, so I, I actually caught him um, a bit further to the west um, here so uh, he shifted territory slightly but uh, that's fine I'm glad that we found him and um, yeah great <laughs>